because it is a Friendsgiving collab with my absolute best friends on all of YouTube. I'm doing a massive collab with Jasmine Sky, Danielle Marie, Kayla McKenzie, and Miss Molly Ann 14. I am so, so, so excited to be doing this. You guys have no idea. So we all did different types of videos. Mine is a get ready with me and you guys really like these, so it's basically just like a get ready with me talk through tutorial. Um, so I'm super, super excited. Be sure that you guys check out all of their videos. I'm going to have a link down below and linked at the end. So please go watch the videos and subscribe to them. We are literally like, we have a group chat that goes on all day long and it is lit 24-7, like literally lit. Make sure you guys go check out their videos. It would really make me so happy and comment that I sent you. Make sure you guys subscribe to them if you aren't already subscribed to them. Um, you guys seriously should be. They are amazing. Also, really just want to say that I did cut my hair, which is a long story in and of itself. Basically, remember how I said I was going blonde? Yeah, I'm not going blonde anymore. My hair physically, like literally could not take it to the point where it frizzled off at the ends. So I literally had to like cut it off. Yeah, so it's short, but I'm gonna get extensions. So if you guys like want a video on me getting my extensions, let me know. I'm getting them in two weeks. So RIP to the blonde hair. It was a good run while I was trying to go for it. I have a blog post all about how bad it was. I'm gonna link that down below if you guys wanna see. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get on to the video. About 50,000 of you guys sent me the exact same picture over and over again and kept saying, do this makeup look. So I'm gonna do this as like best I can. It's so, okay, okay. It is so pretty for Thanksgiving. Like, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna start by concealing my under eyes. Luster Lux did this, Katie, and like, I wanna try it out. So, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and you really don't need a lot with this bad boy. And I'm not trying to highlight with this, I'm just trying to cover these circles. And then for my lids to prime them, I'm just using MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW15. This is just one that was on my desk. Okay, I got all my goods for the eyes. So, look at that. Look at that creasing. Like, I just, I crease so much on the eyelids. So, I'm going to quickly set, oh my god, I need a towel on the mess. I'm just gonna set it with a translucent powder. Nice. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, you're gonna need a transition shade. I tried to choose as many drugstore products as I could. Is Be A Bombshell Drugstore? I don't know. First product that I'm gonna go in with is actually MAC, just because it's a transition shade that I don't have any other color of, and it's soft brown, which is this one right here. It's beautiful, it's like an orangey. And with this, I'm just gonna throw this into the crease. This can be super, super sloppy. Peaches and Cream, Peaches and Cream, whatever, by Makeup Geek is really good. I actually don't have that shade out of here. Everyone talk about it. So I'm sure some of you guys have it because literally everyone talks about it. I'm gonna slap on as much, oh my God, this is not drugstore. This is, nothing is drugstore. What am I talking about? I'm gonna take most of this gold right here. This is, the Engaging Mineralized Eyeshadow by MAC, just any gold that you have, seriously. And we're just slapping this all over that lid. Really just warm up that whole lid with this color. It is beautiful. Now I'm gonna take this NARS um, Compact in the shade Isolode, something like that, and it looks like this. Super, super, super pretty. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 217 by MAC or a brush similar to that of a 217. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take this gold right here, the lighter of the two. And I'm gonna work this on the outer corners and on the inner corners. And then I'm just gonna make a little bridge with them, like that. Now I'm gonna go in with that darker shade and with this I'm gonna put it on the very outer corners, in the very hollow of the crease, and on the very inner corners. So we have this nice gradual fade. For the center of the lid, I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow, I use it all the time. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Amber Rush Eyeshadow. 
so beautiful. It is so pretty. It's just this gorgeous pigment. It's breathtaking. And I'm just gonna take it on a brush. You can wet this, but I'm just not gonna make it as metallic. And I'm just pressing this in the middle of the lid. You don't even need to wet it because it's already so metallic. So wetting it's just gonna make it so intense. So I'm just gonna avoid as much intensity as I can. And this is just going right here in the very center of the lid. I'm just gonna go back in with this that we used and just deepen up this outer corner here because I think it's a little, in this inner corner, I just think it's a little bit too light all over. Yeah, I think I'm, I just have this in front of me, so I'm just gonna pick it up. This is um, Espresso by MAC. It's just a darker brown. You could definitely use a bronze here. I'm just tapping it in a little bit with that 217. It still has that NARS shadow on it. And I'm just gonna flick this in the outer and the inner corners just because I want it just to be a little bit more dark. And having that warm brown is gonna keep it in that bronze range without looking too like bronzy and too shimmery. Alrighty, let's move on to, let's just finish up this upper lash line, why don't we? So I'm going to tight line my, tight line, like tight line my upper water line, some people say, but I just say I'm just gonna tight line. I'm just going to then apply some mascara. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Original. I've been loving this mascara lately. And then I'm also gonna put on some lashes. These are my favorite, the Ardell Demi 120 Wispies. So now I'm gonna take this duo again and I'm gonna take the lighter gold, run this along my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take the darker color that we used, run that along. I'm gonna take a little bit of espresso and pop that right where my lashes are on the outer corner. I'm gonna run this um, ColourPop liner on my waterline. It's their Color Cream Gel Liner in the shade Get Paid. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of Benefit Roller Lash on the lower lashes. She definitely had a lot going on on the lower lashes. It's okay if you get it on your lower lash line. It's actually gonna look kinda good. I'm gonna use two foundations because I'm sure one is gonna be a little bit too dark for me. So um, we'll just work with it. So this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Smoothing Balm in the shade Light Medium. I've actually never used this, so let's see. I'm just gonna put it on the perimeters first. And then to blend this all together, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, which is a little bit too light, but she was super glowy and super highlighted, so I think this is gonna work out nicely um, with the look. So I'm just gonna blend this and then blend the two foundations together. Very, very nice. For concealer, I'm just gonna go back in with this MAC NW15, super light, but she was super, super highlighted, so it is okay. And with this, I'm just going to put it underneath my eyes, kind of avoiding that area, but making this really, really, really highlighted. I'm gonna use my baby one, cause you know, I bought it, I have to justify my purchase. Okay, I said we're gonna be super highlighted, right? Yeah, now that we are super highlighted, I'm gonna go in and set with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. It's been a while since I've used this baby because it's not, has flashback, but that's all right. I'm not gonna bake, I'm gonna bake. Guys, once I fill in my eyebrows, everything is gonna look different. And I just can't take this anymore, so I'm filling them in. <sighs> okay, to warm my skin up, because we're super, super highlighted right now, I'm gonna take Baby Don't Go. This is a blush by MAC. I'm almost out of it, oh my god. With this, I'm warming up the perimeters of my face. because she's like super, super highlighted. She really has like a nice heart shape. And I just think it's really beautiful. Don't really worry about making it look contoured or anything, so we're gonna go back in with that. This is just warming up my complexion. Now I'm gonna take the Smashbox Shape Matters palette, 
And I'm taking this because of this contour shade right here. It's really, really nice for my skin tone, for, <laughs> for my skin tone because it's rather fair um, and ashy, which is good for pale girls. And I'm cutting the cheek. Blend it. Really give yourself that sweetheart face. Keep saying sweetheart, like the sweetheart neckline, like the heart shape. And I'm just gonna take this and contour my forehead a little bit. I have been using this palette like it's nobody's business. I use every single shade in it every single day. It's amazing. So I'm gonna go in and highlight the nines. To the nine, everything's just the nines with champagne pop right here. And I take this on a Sigma F35 and I put this all over that cheekbone, honey. I match it right up with that contour and I get that glow all over. Yes, Jacqueline Hill. I go in with this brush, it's a finished brush, double side. I take the smaller side and I go in with pearl. Yeah. Put it right on the highest point of my cheekbone. Really just adds like an extra pop. And then right down the nose. And then I pop a little bit on the inner corners. Oh my God, I love this. And then I take this shade for blush. And so I'm just gonna take this ColourPop matte shade in the shade Bad Habit. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to go watch their videos because they're so, so, so amazing and it's like Friendsgiving, you know? It's gonna be fun. All right, I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.